Hello and welcome to science lesson number two. Can everyone say hello? Hello! Great job. Let's start today with our meditation. So everyone can have a seat and get comfortable. When we do our meditation, what are we always thinking about? Our heart center. Good. So one hand in our lap, our left hand, and then we have our two fingers. Everybody show me two fingers. And put them on your chest here in the middle so that you can feel your pulse or your heartbeat. And close your eyes. Just relax and breathe. When you really feel your pulse, you can put your right hand into your lap. But still think about your heart center. Breathe slowly in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let's take three deep breaths together to come out of our meditation. One. Two. Three. Let's slowly wiggle our fingers and open our eyes. <laughs> Yeah, everybody can stand up. And today we're gonna stretch up tall as you can. Good, go up on your toes. Good, and let's stretch all the way down to the ground. And let's stretch all the way back up tall, tall up into the sky. Go up on your toes, get as tall as you can. Good, let's go down to the ground once more. And back up tall into the sky. 
Good. Bring your arms down. Good. Let's shake them out. Let's shake out a leg, a right leg, <laughs> and then a left leg. Good. Let's spin around three times. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! And then we're dizzy. <laughs> Good. So in this lesson, we'll be learning about the importance of sunlight to plants. And so first, we're going to do a quick review and then look at a PowerPoint. So does everybody remember last week we talked about our parts of the plant? Yeah, we have some different parts here. Let's see if we can remember what they are. What are the pretty parts on top here? Flowers, yeah. Can you say flowers? Flowers. 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 Good. And what's this long part here? Flowers. Stem, that's right. That's a long stem. And what about this? Leaves. Yeah, these are the leaves. Good. Lots of leaves, right? All over. What's down here at the bottom? The root. Great job. So I'm going to have some friends come up to the board, and we're going to draw and spell each part of the flower. Can you guys come on up? Can you draw for us a stem? The stem. Yep, you're going to write stem, though. So come over here. Great job. That looks good. Thank you. So come on over here. You're going to write stem. Stem. So what does stem start with? What letter? S. What letter makes the sound? S. S. Good. So go ahead and write an S here. Write an S. There you go. Stem. T. T. What letter comes next? T. T. Good. Go ahead and write a T. Write your T. Nope. T. That's an H. T looks like this. Stem. Good. And then what letter comes next in stem? E. E. Good. Can you write an E for us? E. You can look up there. E. So just add a line right here. Nope, like this. There we go. And what's the last sound we hear in stem? M. M. It's an M. Yeah. So go ahead and write an M. An M. Nope, M looks like this. Great job. Stem. So we have our stem. We'll put a little arrow right here to our stem. Good job. Yep, thank you. All right, can we have our next two friends come on up? Okay, let's see. Let's have two draw. <laughs> You're going to write. You're going to be red. <coughs> two, can you draw for us on our stem? Can you draw a leaf over here? Can you draw one of the leaves? Yeah, for us. Oh, right over here. Two, over here. On this one. Yeah, so just draw some leaves on there for us. Yep, that looks like that. Good, that looks great. Yeah, that's a beautiful leaf. Good job. Okay, do you know what word you're going to write? Leaf, we can help you. Leaf, oh, she's ready. L, good start, leaf. Then we have an E. E. Great job. A. And what's the last sound we hear? F. 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 So smart. Great job. And let's put a little arrow to our leaf. Great job. Thank you. And we're going to have our next two friends come on up. Come on, girls. <laughs> 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 
Okay, Tim, can you draw for us a flower? Can you draw a flower on our plant? And you're gonna get ready. Yeah, you're gonna write flowers. Yeah, flower. <laughs> flower, that looks great. Okay, are we ready to spell flower? Yes. All right. What's the first letter in flower? F, F. It's an F. You got it. Yeah, flower. Then we have an L, a L, L sound, L. Flower, great job. O. Oh. Good. What comes next? Flow. Wa. Wa. We. A W. Mm hmm. Yeah, it spells the word we even. Fl oh. Which one? E. E. Is that what you said? Good job. And what's the last sound we hear? Flower. Ra. Ra. Mm -mm. Er. Er. What letter makes the R? Ah. R. You got it. Great job. Flower. flower. Yeah. We have a little arrow for our flower. That looks great. Good job, girls. Thank you. And we have one part that we're missing. Come on up. <laughs> you going to draw the root for us, Pot? <laughs> yeah, it looks like kind of a lot of hairs down there. <laughs> hair. Yeah, it looks almost like hair. That's a great job. Good job. Looking good. <laughs> One more. All right. Are you ready to help us spell root? Yes. Okay. What's the first sound we hear? Uh, mm -hmm. So what letter is that? R. You got it. R, good. Then we have a two letters that are the same. Double O's. Double O's. Mm-hmm. And what's the last sound we hear in root? T. T. Is a T. Great job. Can you put a little arrow to our root? Wonderful. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, these look great. A wonderful little plant. So let's go through one more time, starting from the top. What do we have at the very top? The pretty parts. What are these called? Flower. Yeah, what are the green parts called here? Leaf. Leaf. Good. What's the long part called? Stem. Yeah, or stem. And in the bottom part, kind of looks like hair. Roots, yeah. Great job, guys. So, do you remember last week we talked about plants liking, some plants like a lot of water, and some plants just like a little bit of water. Do you remember that from last week? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a quick look at a PowerPoint. So we remember some plants, oh, like a lot of water. Show me a lot of water. A lot of water. And some plants just like a little bit of water. Show me a little bit of water. Yeah, just a little bit of water. Good. So what about this plant? Does this plant like a lot of water? Or a little bit of water? Lot or a little? Show me with your hands. What do you think? A lot. Yeah, it likes a lot of water. See, it's all sitting in the water, very happy. What about this kind of plant, a cactus? Does a cactus like a lot of water or just a little bit of water? Hmm. Yeah, it likes just a little bit of water. Just a little tiny bit of water. And we have a cactus today here that we brought in. I think everyone's had a chance to see it, but take a look, but don't touch. Yeah, see how the sand is very dry in the bottom? Yeah. Cactus plants like just a little bit of water. See, there's not very much water there, very dry. 
You'll see in the, this part in the sand is very dry. <laughs> yeah, don't touch the cactus. Yeah, the sand is very dry. <laughs> Just a little bit of water they like. Yeah, see how dry it is? Yeah, it's not wet at all. <laughs> Good, yeah. So we're going to take a look at another power plant to see uh, about how much sunlight plants like from water. Yeah, that's right. We're going to talk about the sun, right? The sun way up in the sky. Show me the sun up in the sky. Yeah, sun up in the sky. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about sunlight, we're talking about the light that comes from the sun. It's a little bit different from our lights in the classroom, right? These are electric lights. But outside we have our light that comes from the sun. Okay. So sunlight is light that comes from the sun. See in the word here, sunlight. It's light that comes from the sun. And you can see on the pictures here, do you see the rays of sunlight coming in? Coming in through the trees? Yeah, that's sunlight. When you go outside and it's bright during the day, that's sunlight. Sunlight. Can everyone say sunlight? Sunlight. Let's say it one more time. Sunlight. Good. And plants need sunlight for one important reason. And that is so that they can grow. So when plants are very, very little, they're very tiny, right? And then they get some sunlight and they grow a little more. And a little more sunlight and they grow a little more. And a little more sunlight and they grow very tall. So plants need the sunlight to help them grow. To get taller and to get bigger and to make beautiful flowers for us to look at. So when plants get more sunlight, do you see this plant here growing? Yeah, it has its roots down at the bottom. See the roots? And then the plant starts to grow. See its leaves getting bigger? They're nice and green. And then we have a beautiful flower that shows up at the end. So this is what it means to grow, to get bigger. Yeah. So grow means to get bigger. See? What does it mean to grow? Grow. When you grow, it means you get bigger. No, grow. Can I hear you say get bigger? Get bigger. Yeah, get bigger is when you grow. Good. So in order to grow, plants need something very important. Way up in the sky. They need the sunlight. Yeah, they need the sunlight up in the sky so that they can grow. They use sunlight to help them turn green and to grow, get bigger. And then we talked about last week, plants use another thing to help them grow. Do you remember what it was? Water. water. Yeah, so plants use the sunlight and water to help them grow, to help them get bigger. They grow, see? Yeah, there's a plant. Yeah, see it growing? It's going to be even bigger in the next picture. Yeah. So what two things do plants use to grow? One is sun. Good, and what's the other thing? Rain or water. Yeah, we get a lot of rain here, so we don't usually have to put water on our plants. Good. So sometimes plants get enough sunlight and they can grow nice and big and tall, or they might not get enough sunlight and then they don't grow so nicely. They look kind of tired or they don't look as nice and green. So let's see why that happens. So if plants have not enough sunlight, which is just a little bit, so show me not enough sunlight. Yeah, just a little tiny bit of sunlight. Their leaves do not look very green. 
You see the leaves here? Yeah, they're kind of green. And what are the color are they? Brown. Yeah, they're a little brown. They don't look very green and healthy. You see on this plant? Purple. Yeah, it's about, it's kind of brown, purpley color. Maybe a little more brown. But it's not the nice bright green color that we see here, right? It's starting to turn brown. This plant does not have enough sunlight. It only has a little bit of sunlight. Same thing with this plant. Do you see how the leaves are not very green? No. Yeah, they look a little brown. Another thing if plants don't have enough sunlight is their leaves start to fall down. They're not growing nice and tall. They're looking kind of sad like this. Yeah, sad like that. <laughs> You see the leaves falling down? Yeah, they don't look very happy. Yeah, their leaves are falling down. They're not growing nice and tall. But when plants do have enough sunlight, when they have enough sunlight, a big amount of sunlight, their leaves should look nice and green. See the green leaf? I don't see any brown on this leaf, right? Yeah. It looks beautiful, nice and green. Same with these plants. See all the green leaves here? Yeah. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, and this one too. They look. Yeah, banana. That's right. It's a banana plant. So show me these plants have enough sunlight. They have a good amount of sunlight, right? Show me with your hands. Everybody show me with your hands. A big amount of sunlight. Show me with your hands. Yeah, big amount of sunlight. And what color are the leaves when they have the right amount of sunlight? Yeah, they're green. They're green and they look nice and healthy. They're growing. Are they going like this and falling down? No. No, they're happy. They're growing. Good. <laughs> So we're gonna do an activity where we sort some pictures that show if plants have enough sunlight or not enough sunlight. So if we have, so if we have enough sunlight, that's a good amount of sunlight. So we have a lot of sunlight. Yeah, we have a lot of sun. Show me a lot of sun. A big amount of sun, yeah. Or, Sometimes we might have what other amount of sun? Just a little bit of sun, right? Just not enough sun. Just a little bit. And a little bit of sun is not enough sunlight. It's just a tiny little bit. So we're gonna put not enough sun light on this side. Not enough sunlight. And we're going to look at some pictures and try to decide if they have enough sunlight and the plants look like they're growing nice and tall or if they have just a little bit of sunlight and the plants don't look so good. <laughs> okay, so we'll, let's do some as a class. I think everyone's ready to practice. Let's see, do you want to start Lakao for us? Come on up. We're going to take a look at a picture of a plant. So this is our first picture. Everybody see what's going on with this picture here? See this picture? Does this plant look like it's doing well or not so well? Does it look like it's getting a lot of sun or just a little bit of sun? It's getting just a little bit of sun. This side. Yeah. And how can we tell that it's getting just a little bit of sun? What are the leaves doing? Are they standing up nice and tall? No, what are they doing? Yeah, they're kind of falling over. That's one way we can tell that the plant is not getting enough sun. It's only getting a little bit of sun. Come on up, Pat. You're next. This is our next picture. We have this plant. Yeah, how does this plant look? Does this plant look like it's getting a lot of sun, a big amount of sun, or just a little bit of sun? Yeah, it looks like it's getting a lot of sun. Because what color are the leaves here? Green. Yeah, they're all green. I don't see any brown on that. Great job. Nadia, your turn. Come on up. 
So this is our next picture. You can take a look at this picture. How do the leaves look on this picture? Are they growing nice and tall? Or are they kind of falling over? Yeah, it looks like they're kind of falling over. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah, I think they're not getting enough sunlight. Just a little bit of sun. Good job. Come on up, Dad. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this is our next picture. Take a look at that picture. How do those how do those leaves look? Are they growing up tall and straight? Or are they flopping over? Yeah, they're kind of falling down. They don't look so happy. <laughs> Good job. Come on up too. This is our next picture. How do those plants look? Yeah, they look like they're growing nice and tall. How do those guys look? Nice and tall? Or kind of flopping over? Yeah, they look like they have enough sunlight. Do you see any brown on the here? No. Mm -mm. No, nope, it's all green. Yeah, the leaves are nice and green. Very beautiful. Here is our next picture. Take a look at those leaves. <laughs> Yeah, are they growing up nice and tall, or are they falling over? Does it look like they need more sun? Yeah, they kind of look like they're falling over, just like our plant here. <laughs> kind of falling over. Good job. Come on up. <laughs> this is our next plant. Yeah. Does this plant look brown or green? What color is this? What color is this plant? Green. Yeah, it's green. green. So do you think that plant is getting enough sun? <laughs> yeah, right up there. Good job. It's getting enough sun because it's nice and green. I don't see any brown on those plants. And they look like they're growing nice and tall. Come on up, my friend. You're next. Okay, take a look at this flower. How does that flower look? How does that flower look? Yeah, it's a sunflower. That looks kind of brown, right? It's falling down. Not so happy. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's not getting enough sunlight. Good. We're going to go through one more time. Come on up. Come on up. Your turn again. Yeah. <laughs> so this time, you're going to take your picture. <gasps> Yeah. What do you think about that plant? How's that looking? Do you see any brown on that plant? Yeah. Oh, in the dirt, yeah. But what about the leaves? Are the leaves green or are they brown? Yeah, because the leaves are green, right? Yeah, they look beautiful. Thank you. Good job. Come on up. You're next. Everybody gets two turns today. This is Pot's plant. Take a look at that. Yeah, there's your plant. How's that guy looking? Is he growing nice and straight? Kind of falling over to the side. Yeah, he's kind of falling over. <laughs> Good job, plant. Is that plant? <laughs> yeah, how does that plant look? Does it look nice and green? Or does it look like it has some colored spots on it? Woo! OK. What about this stuff? Oh, green. Yeah. It's green, but do you see this kind of turning oh. another color? Yeah, I don't think it's getting enough sun. Oh. It's okay, you can pull it. <coughs> Got it? Oh. There we go, let's see. Okay. <laughs> there you go, no problem. Stick it on there, yeah. Yeah, because see the color changing? It's not nice and bright and green like all these guys. It's a little bit yellow. Yeah. Come on up, down. You're next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this is her plant. Take a look at that plant. Yeah. Where does that one go? Is that getting enough sun? I think so. How can you tell? Because what color are the leaves? What color are they? They're green. Yeah, they're nice and green. I don't see any brown spots. Nope. See how these have colors that don't look as nice? 
Are they falling down? Yeah, this one looks nice and green. Good job. Two, come on up. <laughs> Here is Two's plant. How does that one look? Does that look like it's growing nice and tall or kind of mm, falling over? Does it have, look at the color of the leaf. No. Is it only green? Yeah. It's okay. You can put it anywhere. There we go. Yeah, because what color is this? Brown. Yeah, see the little brown. So it doesn't look very happy. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. <laughs> Make sure we look at the color of the leaves, too. If the leaves aren't nice and green, I don't think the plant is getting enough sun. So where does, look at the color of those leaves. Yeah, and see where does that plant go? Is that getting enough sun, a lot of sun, or just a little bit of sun? <laughs> That's a great spot, yeah. We see the leaves here are a little bit brown. They're not nice and green like the leaves over here on these plants are all nice and green. Okay, we have two left. Come on up. <laughs> this is our next plant. Where do you think that goes? Is that getting a lot of sun or just a little bit of sun? Yeah, just a little bit. How can we tell? How do we know this plant isn't getting very much sun? Yeah, you can, you can put it there. <laughs> All the way up on the top, nice. Good job. And we can see this plant is not getting enough sunlight. Why? Is it growing up straight and tall? No. No. It's kind of falling over. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of falling over. Good job. Thank you. And we have one last person to come on up. And one last picture. The banana tree. How does that plant look? Does that look nice and healthy, or does that look a little bit sick and sad? Yeah, it looks nice and healthy because it's growing up nice and straight. Show me growing up nice and straight. Yeah, good, nice healthy plants. And when they don't get enough sun, how do they look? Yeah, they kind of fall down a little bit. Their leaves don't look as nice. They maybe change color, turn a little bit brown, and they kind of fall down. They look tired like that. Yeah, great job. We're gonna do a little bit of a worksheet activity and an experiment next. So our experiment is gonna involve one of the plants that we got from outside. And how do the leaves look on this plant right now? Yeah, they look nice and green. They kind of look like this, right? I don't see really too many brown spots or colors that look not very green, right? So what do you think would happen with this plant if we took away the light, the sunlight? Like if we covered up some of these leaves, do you think it would get enough sunlight? Do you think the leaves would still look nice like this? Yeah. Or would they kind of start to look like this? Like this. Yeah, they might start like to look like this. They might be okay, we don't know. We're gonna find out in our experiment. So for this experiment, we're gonna take our plant and we're gonna take some strips of black paper and some paper clips and we're gonna cover up some of the leaves together. So can I have two friends come on up? You're gonna cover up the leaves. Yep, two, come on. <laughs> two people. So you can choose a leaf. Let's stick on this stem. So we're just gonna use this stem. And here's a paper. Grab the paper. Grab the paper. You're gonna cover up one of the leaves. Yeah, you can choose that one. That's a good one. So take a paper clip here and help him cover up that leaf. Yeah, you can choose any kind you guys want and cover up one leaf together. Good. Let's just turn that guy a little sideways. We're just gonna turn him like that. Yeah, so the clip stays. There we go.
All right, good job, guys. So we've got one leaf covered up. Covered up this part of the leaf. Okay, thank you so much, friends. Next two, come on up. You can come too. <laughs> so we're going to cover up another leaf. So we can choose some paper clips here. Why don't you choose a leaf to cover up from this stem? Yeah, so choose a leaf to cover up and work together to fold the paper around the leaf. <laughs> Yep, there you go. Good. Yeah, and put one of those paper clips on there. There's some fun ones. <laughs> yeah, it's a little tricky. There we go. Yeah, great job, guys. Good teamwork. Yeah, thank you. That looks great. All right, next two girls are ready. I love it. So here's the paper. <laughs> yeah. And choose a leaf on this stem that we're going to cover up. And you can work together to cover that leaf up. <laughs> yeah, you got the heart. Okay, we're going for a leaf at the top. Good job. So, fold that over. Good. Mm hmm Here, let me get it started for you. There, okay, now you can slide it. <laughs> there we go. Good job, girls. Thank you. We've got a nice, beautiful heart at the top. And the last two friends, we have one more strip of paper for you to use. Just the paper, and you can choose a paper clip here. Yeah. And get one leaf from this stem that you would like to cover up. That looks like a great one. Uh oh. Oh, slipping. <laughs> Good. Yeah, let's do that one. That looks like a good one. Yeah. That's, an, that's our biggest leaf, I think. Yeah. Cover that up. Put a clip on it. <laughs> okay, you can do either leaf, this one or this one. Doesn't matter. Okay. Here, I'll, I will hold this out of the way for you. Oh, you want to do this one? Okay. Hold these back. Can you help her? That looks good, right? Good job. Good. One more. <laughs> I think you can do it. You got it. Yeah, great job. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. So now our plant has four of its leaves here that are covered up. I'm going to pull this down so we can see. So four of our leaves here are covered up. And if they're covered up with black paper, are they going to get the same amount of sunlight as these leaves? No. Mm -mm. They're going to get a little bit less. They're going to get a little bit less. So we're going to think about that during this week. We're going to look at our plant every day. And on some days, we'll uncover some of the paper and see how those plant leaves look and see if it looks like the plant is still getting enough sunlight and it has nice, healthy green leaves or if it's getting not enough sunlight, just a little bit of sun. And we're going to see if the leaves start to turn a different color 
or if they maybe start to fall down. We don't know. We're going to look and see. So we're going to use our worksheet here, the prediction worksheet. And today we're only going to be filling in the left side, what we think is going to happen during the rest of the week. And then in two days, we'll draw a picture and write a little bit about what happened on day three, and the same thing with day five. So today we're only going to do this side of the paper, okay? Only this side. We're going to leave this empty. We're going to look at it later, okay? So take about five or ten minutes to do the left side of the paper. Think about what will happen with the plant. Will it look growing nice and tall? Or will it start to look kind of tired and change color? Yeah, let's do that. We're going to pass out our worksheet and work on the worksheet, but first we're going to take a vote. Let's take a vote. How many people think the plant is going to look like this? That it's going to look kind of sad? Raise your hand if you think the plant will look kind of sad. Yeah. How many people think the plant will look like this? Yeah. Will the plant look like this? Nice green leaves? No. Or will it look like this? Okay, let's take a vote. If you think that it will look like this, kind of falling down and sad, put your hand up in the air. Nice. Put your hand up in the air if you think the plant will look kind of brown or falling down. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six people. A little bit of sun will make the plant look a little sad. So, how many people think the plant will still look green? I see three hands. <laughs> two people, or one person voted two times. That's okay. Three. three. Yeah. So we don't know. We're not sure. We're going to think about it. And then later on, we're going to look and see what happens. And it's okay if our answer isn't right. We just want to think about it and make a guess. So take about five or ten minutes and fill out just the left side of the worksheet. Leave this blank and only fill out this side. Okay. Yeah, we're going to, we tuck that part down because we're just using the top. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. You are welcome. Good job. Put your name right on the top first thing. Yeah, it's a, It's okay. That's good. We're going to look at it every day. Good. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's okay. Okay, so let's fold our paper like this. Fold your paper like this so that we have one side here and two sides here. Go ahead and fold it like that because we're only doing this side today. There we go. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. On this side. Oop, there you go. Yeah. Just the left side. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, no problem. Because we're going to look at that other part on another day. Okay. Just have the one side. And on the top part, that's good. I'm just going to look at this side today. And on the top part, we're going to draw a little picture of how you think the plant will look. Are the leaves going to still look nice and green like this? Or are they going to have some brown spots? Or be falling down like this? So if you think the plant is going to look nice and green, go ahead and draw a nice green plant there. And if you think they're going to maybe turn a little brown and fall down, draw a picture of that. So draw a picture here of what you think. Yeah. So I'm going to do one down here. Yeah. 
for my prediction. I think, and I'm not sure, I think, I'm going to guess, take a guess. I think the plant is still going to look nice and green. So I don't have a green marker, but I'm going to use blue. <laughs> And I think the plant will still look nice and healthy. It's still going to have its green leaves, and it's going to look nice and healthy. So that's my guess. And on the bottom, I'm going to write healthy. and green because I think the plant will still look healthy and green. Even though we covered up these, I'm going to guess that it still will look okay in one week. So if you think the plant is going to look healthy and there were three of us, you can draw a picture like this, a healthy plant. If you think the plant is going to look like this, a little bit brown and maybe a little bit falling over, kind of tired looking, then we can draw our prediction like this. Draw a picture of a plant that doesn't look so nice. So if you think your plant is going to maybe kind of fall over, maybe its leaves won't look so green, you can draw a plant that looks like this. I'm going to say it looks brown. Brown and falling over. So go ahead and draw the picture that you think is going to happen. Yeah. There's no wrong answers. It's just what you think will happen. If you think it's going to be healthy and green, then draw a nice, pretty green plant. Yeah, that looks great. Good, so draw your picture. You can use your colored pencil. So you think the plant's going to look nice and green? Yeah, cool. So you can write the sentence there, healthy and green, and you can color your plant green with your colored pencil so we know the plants are nice and green. Uh, we're going to look at those parts another day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to keep drawing and looking at the plant every few days. So draw a little picture of a nice looking plant there since you think it's going to look healthy and green. Yeah, you can draw a picture and you can color it too. So if you think it's going to look a little bit brown, then use some brown on your leaves. If you think it's going to look green, then use just green on your leaves. So get your colored pencils and color it in. Think green and brown? Yeah, use your colored pencils so I'll know. Green and brown. Yeah, so you think it's going to look nice and healthy? Cool. You can color the plant green. Okay, get out your colored pencils and color it green. That we're going to do on another day. So just wait on that side. Just this side now, but you can color it. Pretty. Yeah. We had a lot of people thinking it's going to look healthy and green. Good, so you can color it green. Yeah. Color it nice and green if you think the plant will look healthy. Or put a little bit of brown if you think the plant will look a little bit falling over and brown. Oh, we got a flower on that one. Yeah, go ahead and color in the color that you think it will be. If it has some brown on it, 
Maybe the leaves aren't as green. You can make your picture look like these leaves. If you think the plant will still look nice and green, go ahead and color some leaves that are beautiful and green. L O where? This here? Here? It's an L. L. Healthy means you're nice and strong. Good, you can go ahead and color. No, where are they? <laughs> Healthy. So do you think it's going to be green or you think it's going to be brown and green, right? So put some color on there, some green and your brown. Wait, 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 we're not doing this one yet. We're only doing this one. This is going to be for another day. We're going to look at it on the third day and the fifth day. So just this side for now. Yeah. Healthy and green. Great job. That looks wonderful. So you think healthy and green. Think it'll still look nice and green, not turn brown? Yeah, we don't know. We don't know, that's okay. We're gonna look and see, that's why we're doing the experiment, so we can find out. Again, for day three. In three days, we're gonna look again, and we're going to draw another picture about what we think will happen, and describe if we think it has changed, and we'll do it again on the fifth day, too. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do it again. We're going to wait and do it again on Friday. So if you finish with the first part, you're all finished for today. Yep. So you're all finished for today, finished with the first part. Good. We're going to look at these two parts on Friday. Mm -hmm. We're going to save that for Friday. Oh, very nice. We've got some sun out there, too. Good. Yep. If you're finished with the first part, you're finished for today because we're going to do these parts on another day. We're going to do this on Friday. Yeah, you're all set. Good job. So hold on. We're going to save this for Friday. So wait on this. Did you finish on this side? Oh yeah, you're all finished for today. Good job. So, yeah, I think I'll hold on to them so that we can keep them nice and safe. I'll hold on to it. Thank you. And we'll look at it again on Friday. I know, yes. someone's finished. Oh, yeah. So you think green and brown, right? Healthy prediction. Good job. Thank you for joining us for science lesson number two. Can everybody say goodbye? Goodbye. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you.